Let's take a deeper look at this, shall we? Man, this is so cool, right? Cause like, this is this is coming out September 9th, which is the same day. This is day one of, this is literally day one of um. Oh my gosh, Riptide, right? Riptide, yes, day one of Riptide. I don't know if they're gonna do Splatoon two or Splatoon three. I mean, they have to do Splatoon three, right? I mean, I know it's gonna be day one, but like. Oh man, There's, dude! Imagine if they do Splatoon three, right? That's gonna be so insane. This is so sick. Uh, I want to analyze this a bit better. Um, wow. Okay, give me a second, right? Holy moly, dude! All right. Let's take a look at this real quick. Oh, okay, it was in a game. <laughs> oh man. Oh, this is so cool. Okay. So let's take a look at the weapons, right? So the weapons still looking kind of like the same ish. They have uh, a bit of an update look to them. Games, this game looks a lot more bubbly, right? I just want to take a look at the map, right? So, of course, there's water. There's always water. When is there never water, right? Um. The map is really long, like really long, it looks like. So yeah, you get about like three seconds to confirm where you're dropping, right? So also, I have a video coming out. Uh, I've already recorded my uh, live reaction to this, and I'll, you know, I'll be editing it and posting it on my YouTube a little later. But yeah, this is cool. So you can pretty much land almost anywhere on your side of the map, right? That's pretty cool. This map seems pretty good, but it's really open, which is the thing that throws me off always. Like, maps that are open are just like, can be rough. So, that person dies, and it's so loud when they die, right? It's like, also, I'll, I'll just, I'll just play this for anybody who's here right now. I'll play it like normal, I'll pause it, so you can kind of get the full experience. But yeah, you can see people respawning in the back. Inzuka being busted as usual. Look at that. Bro, this person pushing his charger. Lol. <laughs> Their teammate saved him too. But that was a good shot. Good as in, you know, they were walking in a straight line towards him. But, you know, good regardless. Good job. I love the new icons at the top for the weapons. This look really sick. Dude, this special is gonna be so broken. You literally suck up ink. And then you shoot it and pop it like a splash down. I wonder if the damage or like the explosion at the end is dependent on how much ink you suck up. It probably is, to be honest. But that's fine, like even if you don't suck up ink. Oh, Spider-Man time. Even if you don't suck up ink, that's fine too, right? Also, this seems really slow. Like I don't think it's gonna be that good, to be honest with you, but It'll be fun. It'll be fun. Try to pull off some really cheeky stuff with it. Turn mode, baby. Yeah, it looks like your damage ramps up. Uh, instead of like firing like really fast immediately, it looks like it ramps up, right? What is that sub, dude? I still don't know what that sub does, bro. It's so weird. <laughs> That's so sick, dude. The way it follows you and then fires like that, it's so cool. Also, ink strike! Got two. Okay, okay. Let's go. Also, we got uh, this way in Booyah still. And this is all on spectator cam. That thing can be broken, it looks like. And it like gets smaller as you hit it, too, at the top. It reminds me of that one special in Overwatch. Uh, Batista's? Or I don't remember his name. But, like, he has, like, an invincibility, like... You know, immortality field that you can shoot and destroy. Spider Man time. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. And just like King Jet, go back to your normal spell. Oh, 
Look at the tech. Yeah, boy. That sub strafing with style. <laughs> Yeah, this game is looking really fun, not gonna lie. Also, I like how, like, because it's probably spectator cam after the game ends, like, this person, like, ends up moving. I'm sorry, I paused it, but, like, <laughs> it's just keeps on moving there, like, <laughs> like, it's like, also, that, uh, the cutaway there is, is new. It looks like the, uh, the strips kind of, like, disappear. That was cool. And we get fucking medals, which is sick, and these animations are sick. Yo, coming out on the 9th of September. That's wild, dude. That's so wild. Also, man, look at this artwork. It's so sick. Right? <laughs> blasters, please buff blasters and dynamo. <laughs> please. I beg you. My man's in PJ still. Uh, Magistrate Esports, dog. I'll have you know. All right. Chill on that. Chill. But let's take a deeper look at this, right? I want to take a better look at this. So, like, the first thing I noticed, obviously, is that the, um, the icon is different out here. The loading will tank. Yeah, September 9th, which is the same day, the very first day of Riptide 2022. So, I'm not sure if you're going to do Splatoon 2 or Splatoon 3. Who's to say, right? Who's to say? But let's take a better look at this, right? So... I kind of want to just appreciate like the Splatfest titles that we have going on here because like these remind me of like Splatfest titles, right? <laughs> it took <laughs> all it took for you to stream is Splatoon 3 news. Yeah, listen, my capture card isn't working, so I can't Splatoon. I can't show Splatoon 2 gameplay right now because uh, I got to get that figured out uh, for whatever reason. My use my USB slots aren't working or whatever. But anyways, um, likely Splat 2 just because there's no way to unlock everything day one. Yeah, I know. Uh, it'll likely be Splatoon 2, which is sad, but um, that also means that the, um, not Riptide, but I think there's one right after Riptide, I believe, or is it sooner? I don't remember. There's another tournament that's coming out. Uh, I have to take a look at it again. Um, but it would be cool if we could play Splatoon 3 day one, and everybody's just the same. Like, no one has anything different. Everybody's day one Splatoon 3, right? We have like this day one Splatoon 3 tournament. See who's just the best straight out, right? That'd be really cool. Uh, maybe you could talk to the guys at Big House. Uh, I probably could. Probably could. Um, at that point, I usually consider a month or nine fall time already. Yeah, that's pretty much fall time. Um, definitely not summer like they initially said. But what are you going to do, right? <laughs> what are you going to do? Uh, Eel Tail Alley. This is what this place is called. Um, that's going to tongue timey a lot i can already tell uh so so we have like big money man of wardrobe regular that sounds like a swoosh player <laughs> faithful seaside super fan sounds like a charger player soft paul champ that sounds like a 52 player uh third gen ring leader that sounds like a t-tech player uh clocked out turf four that sounds like a brain dead weapon um also 52 <laughs> uh Inkless Office, that sounds like a roller because they never have ink. Uh, Splatsville's Fashionista, that sounds like a brush player. Uh, Attention Seeking Bass Dropper, that definitely sounds like a T Tech main, too. Um, basic ass Attention Seekers, I swear. It's like two weeks before summer ends, <laughs> yeah. Oh, hey, Xander, how's it going? I'm doing fantastic right now. We're reviewing uh, the new Splatoon 3 news that just dropped, so we're checking that out right now, all right? And all these names. Oh, also, before I forget, the they have like Discord numbers at the bottom of these tags, which is really interesting. <laughs> the fashion sounds like the bow. Yeah, it could be the bow too, low key. Also, see how far that things go. Yeah, it goes pretty far. All right, so we got that mustard tea tag once again. I can't believe they stuck with this mustard tea tag. I swear. Uh, do we have a release date? Yeah, we do. It's gonna be September 9th, twenty twenty two. So basically September 9th, the first day of Riptide. First day of Riptide, which is insane. So we'll see how that works. Um, yeah, Roller's looking like a mustard too with the little bloop bloop, you know. Um, I really don't like the shade, honestly. I prefer it was more blue, but like, you know, picky picky, picky picky. Do Xeno 3 like two weeks after my birthday. <laughs> Yo, my man is excited. 
Let's go. Xenoblade 3 is going to be a good game, it looks like, too. Yeah, that's huge, Xander. It's super huge. Let's see. A big Yu Yu event. The date of my birthday. Yikes, dog. <laughs> you got a lot going on. But yeah, let's take a look at this, right? Let's analyze this a bit, right? So, looks like like it's only been 15 seconds since the met. Hold on, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on, three minutes. Oh my gosh, boys, we got three minute matches. Oh, that's interesting. But this this is technically turf war, right? So they might up it for ranked, right? I mean, that's the that's just how it goes. But like, imagine if we had three minute ranked matches. That'd be interesting. Three minute ranked matches would be very interesting. Is it me or the splatter shop pro shoot faster? Uh, so we're looking at the splatter shop, the normal one right now. Um, we'll take a look at the splatter shop pro once it comes up, and I'll tell you my thoughts on that. So this is the 96. This is the 96 player. Um, also, the 96 gets their special in 15, 14, really, technically speaking. That's a really fast charge time, honestly. That's really fast. And the special seems decent. Like, I won't say it's like busted, busted, but it seems pretty decent. But I, I'll explain why I think this is like a decent special in a minute. Also, I originally thought these were like assist icons, but they're actually def icons. And they happen, you can see both enemy and uh, your own team's def icons, and they're different from like splat wilds. So it's really easy to tell. I didn't see any assist ones, as far as I can tell. So we'll see. See what I mean? Wind blight though. Wait, what? Wind blight. So this is the splash shot pro, right? So no, it's the same fire rate. Yeah, I can definitely tell it's the same fire rate. It may seem a little faster, but it's the same fire rate. Also, this is really interesting. The guy is just phase two wind blight. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. <laughs> uh, this right here is really interesting because the bow looks like it's gonna be a really good weapon to like, um, poke damage at people from a really good long distance and then like snipe them as soon as they come out of cover because these don't do a lot of damage by themselves, right? But they're enough chip damage that if you keep throwing them out, eventually people are gonna be like, oh shoot, I gotta move, right? They either have to back up or move out of cover, right? And when they do either of those things, you have an opportunity to shoot them and kill them. Same fire rate. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, it's basically throwing dart trackers. Like, and you can stick them to the surface, like any surface. You'll see later in the video where they stick them to like the, the post, like this uh, light post right here. Well, not this one specifically, it's the one on the other side, but you'll see what I mean. So, I don't know what, this is a sub, right? This is a sub that I don't know what it does yet, but it like, uh, this person, I think the Charger player has it. This is the Pro. This is the Slash Shot Pro that has it, and the Charger also has it. I'm not sure what it does. Oh, oh, you're talking about the Slash Shot Pro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It might be like a throwing dart. I'm not, I'm not really sure. But it doesn't matter because they get fucking duped. Like, nuke, nuke, duped, you know? My man got blasted. <laughs> They're gone, gone. So it doesn't even matter what they do, bro. Looks like a hit scan point sensor. It could be. That'd be really interesting, actually. That'd be really interesting. Uh, Politely bashes the door in. Oh my gosh, Splatoon 3. Hello, Pine. How's it going? It looks like a dark with a tether. Yeah, it could be. Also, lol. You don't even have to, like, aim with this thing. Like, that one was a direct. And also, like, look at the little kill icon. I just want to point... I just want to point out the aesthetics for the game. The, the aesthetics are very bubbly. Like... The, the squid have like the pointy squid and then the octolings have like the rounder heads on the icons and when someone dies like a big X comes across like X rank because people are dead in there see it's pretty cool right um so this person got directed like boom existed deleted right and this person got like one shot by one of them like boom <laughs> so it only takes one to like one shot which is really nice because you shoot three in a spiral there's so much packed into this video it's bonkers I know right it's so good Look how much paint that has too though. Like that's a lot of paint for like just one fire, right? So like you could paint an entire zone with like two of these, I'm pretty sure. Uncontested. Like if it's uncontested, you can paint the zone too. 
uh, contest it, you probably won't do anything. <laughs> also, look at these speed lines, bro. <laughs> look at these speed lines, bro. Also, never do this. Why are you pushing this charger, like, like in a straight line, bro? Like, use your cover. You got one, two, and then three using the little wall uh, thing right here. But there's another guy right here who's going to, like, cuck him. The animation along has me vibrating in my seat. <laughs> Uh, it alone, I'm not along. <laughs> Nintendo dropping everything, cover up the scandal. Yeah, that's how that's how they roll, bro. That's how they do it. Look at this man is pushing forward, and this man over here drops the ha 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 ha. Get down, Mr. President Shield, bro. But you saw how like the shield got significantly smaller after a little bit of damage. Like, how much damage does it take? Like, how many shots do they put into it, right? Like. That's two, three, four, five. So that's about like five, six shots that they put into this. And remember, three shots from the T Tech. Well, each shot's like 33 damage, right? Um, well, not 33. It's a bit more um, because you actually three shot people. But anyways, um, that's about like 34, right? 34, 35 damage, right? That they do. Um, I don't really remember the exact statistics on that, but it only took about five, six shots to like lower it by like one stage. It looks like. Because it goes down by one, right? And then somebody else is shooting at it. You can see some ink up here. Someone else is shooting at it. I'm pretty sure it actually went down not to the shield damage, but like to the top part, right? Um, this video was clear just to showcase things and not to demonstrate adequate strategies. <laughs> Listen, bro. I'm still going to VOD review the hell out of them, bro. <laughs> Might have a shield multiplier on the shield, though. Yeah, there could be a multiplier. But I actually think... Like, reviewing this, right? And there's another part in the video that makes me think it's my ladder theory. That this is the portion you want to be shooting and not the actual shield. Because, um, as you see, like, when when they shoot it, right? Like, it's not going down immediately. Also, well, um, it, it goes down when this part gets hit by whoever shot it from up here. Which I'm pretty sure is the bow player because they're at the top at the, earlier in the match, right? So, like, they shot it. Like, they shot it again right there and it went down. I'm pretty sure it's the top part. Um, so that's going to be interesting. And then I think I just heard it break low key. So it might take like two or three shots. I'm guessing it's going to have like 200, anywhere between like 200 to uh, 300 HP, the little thing at the top. That's my guess. That's my guess. Ooh, I like this player, this, this charger player. May not be mechanically gifted, but they're mechanically uh, smart, I guess. <laughs> uh, they waited for their teammate to show up before using their specials to make sure their teammate can get in for free. Uh, because, like, they're just, like, stalling here, right? They're just stalling here, right? Blah, blah, blah. Um, and then their teammate comes up and, like, oh, time to use my special. Time to make sure they, we, uh, you know, fucking Luigi this shit up real quick. <laughs> Suck it all up. And my poor mans over here, my slosher mans. Dude, look at them. <laughs> look at them, they're out of me. <laughs> they're out of me. <laughs> oh, that's so funny, dude. Oh, they're out of me. That's so sad. <laughs> and then they get dunked on, dude. That's so sad. Oh, and then they get dunked on. Um, But I want to note that um, for this special, right, it sucks up a lot of ink, right? On a really pretty big area, right? And then once it's full, let's take a look at the backpack, right? right. See, so like when you shoot into it, it looks like you're gaining, uh, you know, you're gaining ink, right? Then you can shoot it off, and it looks like it one shots. Uh, it looks like it one shots if you like get enough of a charge. And then it does like a splashdown radius thing, where like it explodes into like a sp look, look, spike. Ooh, look at that! That's epic. Uh. Footage of me being charger because no one else on my team covers server and just <laughs> leave me to do it instead. <laughs> that vacuum gonna go crazy in Rainmaker TC if they return. Low keep. So here's what I'm thinking, right? You run two of the vacuums. You run uh, another special that we're gonna see later in the video, and then you run maybe like the net, like the Spider Man or like the um or ten missiles because I'm pretty sure that's gonna be back in the game. Um, you run those because like you want to like stagger your um, vacuums, your sucky suckies. So you stagger your sucky suckies, right, back to back, and then you like use one at start to get your team in, and you use another one to like make sure your high priority target on your team is protected. So like your charger, right? So you sucky sucky around your charger so that they can like you know do charger things or blah blah blah. Or whoever's you know gonna be like 
doing good damage or whatever, right? So like here, this is what I mean right here. You see this? You see how like they stuck on a light post? That's what I was thinking, right? <laughs> Look at you think of strats already. Right. I know, I, I am so like very critical minded of this. I'm thinking that the shot itself just does high damage and doesn't one shot that slasher was just standing enemy inks for quite a long time. That is true. It probably does like also when you look at the backpack right, um it wasn't fully fully charged when he shot it, right? So like here, right? It's like almost fully charged. It's like like 70, 80 percent fully charged. There when they were about to shoot it looks like 80, 90 percent, right? So they shoot it, and obviously they were in ink already, so they were probably already weak. Um, that's a really fast shot. It's pretty high velocity for the most part. Um, I also like the electricity around it. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like that was fully charged. I wonder if it's fully charged, it does like 100 damage. I don't know, maybe. Um, two vacuums, wind blight, shield up. Uh, shield, uh, can stay on tower, sounds crazy. Also toxic misses back. Oh, damage and splashdown radius probably scales with how much you get back so it's a special probably will fall off and affect events at high ranks probably yeah because people will like not shoot into your sucky sucky you know you know people will be like oh wait if they get stronger the more i shoot maybe stop shooting you know pretty smart right but like if you're in that situation where you're you need to get to zone and you need to cap it because you're about to lose the game and you have no choice but to shoot at the zone then this is like the perfect special for that right because you can defend all those shots well not all of them obviously but you can defend a really good portion of the zone to stop them from capping it right you don't have to defend the whole zone you just defend a portion of it because you're just preventing them from capping or neutralizing so you just protect that certain part of the zone with this if that ever comes up right so i think it has its niches right it's not fully overpowered but it has a good niche right uh, best followers, primes, and videos on Laura. Oh, hello, Micer. And it's on bow. It is on bow. But yeah, I think it does scale with how much. Um, I think it does scale with how much you suck up. But um, so like the 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 bow like leaves like these right. Uh, can't see it with all the crazy things going on on the screen. It's hard. Like right there. That's yeah, easier frame. Um. I'm no way in no I'm in no way competitive, but watch me take notes anyways. Let's go fine. As long as you're taking something out of this, uh, I'm happy. So yeah, at least three. So this is gonna be like the bow. I initially thought the bow was gonna be really bad, and it still can be depending on the damage numbers, right? And like it's just other stats in general, but like it has really good poking potential. And I'll, I'll explain it why. Like not only can you like shoot terrain and have it stick next to terrain um you do damage with it right um and each one does damage not it's not just you have to have all three like each one of these does like it, its own separate damage what i found though as far as like still reviewing is like the damage isn't so high also hello kaze how's it going um the damage isn't like super high so like it doesn't do a lot of chip damage but like it can do enough over time, right? And that's the important part. Also, Spider-Man time. This looks so vulnerable. I swear, this is going to be a fun special to use, but it looks so bad. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm so sad that I'm, like, super excited for this thing. But I can already look at it and be like, man, this is going to be so bad, right? Because this is, like, Inkja, but you don't have the one-shot potential of Inkja, right? Like, Inkja, you can get to these same places. And probably quicker, too, if you're, like, already positioning yourself before you use it. Um, obviously this gives you a lot more like mobility than Inkja, but like Inkja has that one shot potential, which is so strong. Like being able to burst someone immediately and take them out of the game like that before they have a chance to react to you like this does is so good. That's why Inkja is so good for that, right? But you have to get, you obviously have to have good aim for that too. So, you know, I'm excited for the bow. I don't even care if people end up dubbing it the worst weapon. Um, ball like ball <laughs> looks like an offensive counterpart to a sloshing machine triple ink strike and vacuum though triple ink strike vacuum sounds really busted i, I don't think you should run triple ink strike because you it, it's not really good for like pushing in it's like good for controlling areas but not really pushing in you know like it doesn't really have that big of an offensive pressure right it's more so like controlling certain areas which is could be good like on tc when you need to like break a checkpoint if there are even checkpoints or tc i mean there should be but you know you know they could have changed it uh bow is looking really fun i'm probably going to try out bow for a long time 
Um, but yeah, this just looks like it. It just doesn't look like it's gonna do big things, right? And it's like also inkjet, right? You like land back over here, like you easily get you know inkjet bomb camps, right? Uh, feels bad for Spider-Man mains. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, so they have their crab special. Crab looks pretty bad too, low key. Um, see, like, look, look at the radius of that bow shot, right? Like the bow shoots, right? Um, and this, like, it, like, hits them, and then this one, like, still blows up, right? And like, the radius isn't that big, but it does, it doesn't even do enough damage to really kill them after like that slight indirect, right? <laughs> Watch me use, uh, use the Squiddy Man special and somehow eating myself off the map. Yeah, <laughs> that's gonna be funny. It's faster long distance moment, but it matter how fast you can act out of it, grapple, what weapon has it. Yeah, that's true. If you can, like, act out of it really quickly, like, immediately as you, like, if you can act out of it at any point, that'd be really good, right? Because you can, like, mid-swing stop and then shoot at somebody, or, you know, after you land somewhere, you can shoot, right? That'd be really good, hopefully. We'll see. Also, the the ramping on this special doesn't look that good, right? Like, look how long it takes up to ramp up at its max, well, not max speed, but like, it doesn't, it takes like way too long to ramp up its damage, I think. And when you fire a little blast here, like you have to ramp up your shots again, right? It has pretty good accuracy, but like the ramping is kind of what's killing it for me. It just feels like way too slow, you know? Um, but it looks fun because, you know, crap, crap, right? Yeah, and it looks like you can still die in it, which isn't good. Maybe you have some sort of armor, but we'll see. Also, I just want to point out that it is confirmed that when you respawn, right? We don't, you don't respawn in the same thing. So like this person just respawned, they're about to respawn like right there. They just, they respawn, they select their marker. So, and then they can shoot themselves anyway. So no more spawn camping for people who get spawn capped, <laughs> I guess, somewhat. I mean, you're still gonna get spawn capped cause you know, good players will spread out and cover a larger area. And then kill you in 1v1s, essentially, right? But, you know. Uh, this looks more like survival survivability mobility tool than a killing tool. I'm guessing the crab gives you a bit of health and you're shielded more from angles. Yeah, I can see that. But, like, in like in the current state of Splatoon, I, I don't feel like it, it would be very good, right? Because, like, it's, Splatoon is very high-paced, high-octane gameplay. So, like... Like, if you can use it to get around faster and survive shots and maybe get in, then probably worth it, right? But I just don't see it being that good. Also, that throwing dart is still confusing me. See, like, look, just look at the damage from the... Like, look, look, look at the damage, right? Like, it's like barely nothing, bro. It's like almost nothing. I feel so bad. I'm guessing the uh, uh was talking about ink strike shooting through projectiles from one special and you throw markers. Ah yes, okay, my bad. Uh okay. You can stall for a bit longer on objectives and just roll around. I'm so happy to see ink strike made a return. Yeah, me too. Yeah, the crab could be really good for like um the crab could be really good for like stalling stuff. Also, this is probably my f favorite special for animation so far. Is the um the mini uh you know stingrays like look how oh that's so sick like it's, it's, it's so cool dude it's like naruto you know we had the orbs uh, I, don't, I don't know if you guys see naruto but anyways it, it's it's visually appealing also i just want to note that these things like the 96 here gets one shot right gets one shot there so like 96 does one one damage right there one one hit right and then they don't hit them again and then these finish them off, which means like 196 shot plus these will finishes off people. I don't know how much damage these do individually, but like combined, they definitely look like they do a lot of damage, right? Yeah, these you can like stall out, right? But like the thing about the, the difference between this and Ink Strike is that with Ink Strike, when you were on your Wii U pad, you could look at the map and put it anywhere you want it. With this, it's a lot more limited, right? And that's why I don't think running like like more than two of these would be good. Like two is even pushing it for me, honestly. But like you don't you can't get close enough sometimes to the zone to be able to use these if you're getting camped really far back, right? 
because these are one of those specials that you throw. It's kind of like, you know, rain cloud, right? You can only really use your rain cloud on a zone if you get close enough to throw it anywhere near zone, right? And at least rain cloud kind of moves along, so like it has the potential to like reach even further. But these, you only have a certain distance that you gotta like throw them at, so it's really difficult to like get it close enough to actually use it properly, right? And remember, you have to throw three of them. And between the time it takes you to throw all three of them, like you can easily get splattered. Someone can just like walk up to you and be like, you know, right in between the, you know. So it can be good if you can throw them from a safe spot. Um, so you got to be smart with this one, obviously. So that's what I think. Um, way lower cast time and lag though. Yeah, like the it it looks really sick. It's it looks like a pretty good special. Um, hopefully it charges quickly because it doesn't look like it's so strong that like it'll be busted but if it charges quickly like you'll have it enough times to use it multiple times in a row like in quick succession then I think it'd be really good so also did I hear an invisibility sound during one of the squids rolling interacting with being hit uh I'm not sure let's take a look Didn't really hear anything, but if you called it, let me know. Let's see what that. Also, let's point out that this slosher has a uh, splat bomb. That's really nice for sloshers. It's a lot of sloshers really want splat bomb. It's really good. It's one of the best subs. Okay. I think it was around here. Yeah, so see how like when he shot the top part, it got smaller immediately? That's what that's what I'm thinking, right? And it looked like it hit it with two of the shots, I think it looks like. It's like, let me actually do this. Yeah, so like, maybe one of them actually, because I think I see two here, or it could have been two that hit. One or two, but it was, that was enough. And it wasn't like, it wasn't full damage, but it was enough to like lower this by one safe rate. It looks like the second part of hitting it doesn't lower it again though. It's like, first one lowers it, right? That one looks like it weakens it, but isn't lower. And then I and it's still up, right? But here, here's kind of what I wanted to like show, right? So like you see how the this guy is like behind cover here, right? Um, this is what I mean about like this thing being really good. Uh, it is at 35 seconds. Um, 35 seconds. So this was at 2:38. So we get back to it. I'm not sure exactly what you're hearing. I hear the one hit from this and then the kill from this. So the charger kills one person up here, which was pretty loud. And then the kill, uh, this guy was next. So I'm not really sure. Maybe later. Yeah, sure. Um, 2.38. Okay. So what I wanted to point out here, right, was also you can use two of those subs. I want to take a look of how much this sub actually takes. So it didn't even take like... It didn't take a lot. Yeah, you're like half tank. So you can shoot like four of these it looks like. Probably more depending on your gear. So I don't know what this exactly does. But it seems pretty good. If you can throw a lot of them. But like... Look right here, right here. They're going to shoot over the block. And it's going to arc really quickly. Look how fast that was, right? They shot over the, the block really quickly and it drops down, right? So that's really good because like you can just sit behind cover and literally from a really long distance, like charger distance, you can essentially poke at people with like poke damage, right? And again, enough of it will do significant amount of damage. So you can just keep spamming people like in really key areas behind cover, and which is really nice. Um, there's a point sensor effect when it hit earlier. Uh, it really is hit scan point sensor. Oh, okay. Did not notice that. But man, the damage is just, just like... Like, it's cool that you can poke people, but look at that pitiful damage, dude. <laughs> like, like <it> doesn't... <laughs> my man is so purple, bro. <laughs> like, what do you see yellow on them, bro? <laughs> it's so, it feels so bad. Like, the damage just feels, like, so insignificant. And it takes forever to explode too. I feel like if it explodes a bit faster, it might be better too. Like it doesn't feel like. Also, the squid roll. 
which is nice. Not really sure how I feel about that. The whole point of current point sensors is to help find sneaky people. Uh, this just turns into purely making tool for teammates. Yeah. Um, I think point sensor is better because you get like a radius too and not have to be pinpoint accurate, which can be hard on really fast and mobile characters. Plus you have like latency that you have to like consider. So like you probably won't be hitting a lot of people with it. I don't know. Hopefully it has a different effect that we currently see and it won't be me and Don as the worst, uh, you know, sub in the game. Also, look at these two nerds, like one be one here. I mean, squid roll, this person squid rolls, this person squid rolls, and then we'll get the two shots in. Spider-Man time. It, you can act out of it sort of quickly, but I don't feel like it's enough time, right? Also, man, imagine we had that for Stingray, dude, imagine! That's a really large area for the Sucky Sucky, right? It's like pretty large area for Sucky Sucky, right? Like they're all the way over here, and like they can block shots like at this box basically. Like look at that, that's a big radius. Like that's pretty huge. Like that's pretty significant. The only thing is, um, uh, right here. Do you hear it? Hold on. Where exactly? that like the spider-man power up i don't know if you mean the spider-man power up it was during the 1v1 at 35 seconds the 1v1 during 35 seconds like this 35 over here like this 1v1 so I don't really hear anything, but like if we go back to this 1v1 for the squid roll, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I kind of heard something when he like squid rolled to the right. Like right here, I think they get shot at and there's a bit of... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like there's like armor breaking there. Match time. Match time. Okay. I know there it sounded like there's armor breaking when they squid roll to the right. Because they got they definitely got hit, but when they squid roll they like didn't take damage I think. Which will be a lot better than uh sub strafing. It's slower than sub strafing, but if it gives you like a little bit of armor or invincibility, that'd be really nice. Iframes could be iframes too, low key. Which would be really, really, really nice. Also, the music is banger, bro. Hell of good music. As always. Look how big that radius is. Sucky, sucky. Wait a minute. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Because uh, someone on their team uses Zooka, right? Like, right there, right? Someone just fired, like, a big shot. Did it get sucked? Or no, that's just a slosher. I thought it was, like, the Zooka. I was like, what? No, but it wasn't the Inzuka, it was just a slasher shooting. <laughs> Rip that person up top. <laughs> they got they got sucky suckud. <laughs> also I can't believe I just spotted this, bro. I literally can't believe I just spotted this. I'm so mad. Oh my god, bro. I just um oh, okay, hold on. Let's everybody take a look. Alright, here we go. Alright, uh, here we go. Let's take a look. I'm going to turn off the sound because it sounds weird. See this person right here? Look at them. See their feet? Yeah, they're off the ledge. But look what happens. Whoa! Spectator cam, what are you doing, bro? Look at that. Look how far down they are, bro. <laughs> look how far they are, bro. Oh my gosh, no, dude. Whoop! <laughs> oh, no, dude. Not like this. Oh man, not like this. Dude. <laughs> Three continue to train up while you're a charger main, then perish. Yeah, unfortunately, unfortunately. But hopefully uh, your teammate will have the big bubble shield for you.
so you won't perish as as much. That happened in real matches. Yeah, it happens in real matches, but like this is like spectator cam, so like I'm praying it's just spectator cam. Um and it's not like it's probably gonna be in a game to be honest, like in real matches. But I'm praying it's just spectator lag, you know, like pray for your boy, pray for your boy. Splatoon three with triple the lag. <laughs> Fine though, don't say that pie. That's so cursed. Uh, and they can fall to the bottom and still say that. <laughs> oh no, dude. Uh, that video would like predicting some off mock functions even in land. <laughs> oh boy. Also, uh. I, I, I thought this was funny too because I thought this was spectator lag as well. So the match ends and this person we're watching keeps moving after the match ends. Look. So like it ends and they just... My man's still walking. <laughs> baited by lag, dude. Oh, dude. They got so baited by the lag. It's crazy. Also, can we just like appreciate on the boys, the fuzzy boys. Look at them. This one's like morning hair but this one's straight up like i just got out the shower dog like you could look at the face on my mans over here this face is just straight up the face of i just got out the shower bro like legit this man's definitely i just woke up like come on <laughs> they're so fuzzy like why are they so fuzzy like i know it's the return of my millions but like so fuzzy i mean this is internally recorded uh unless if everyone is still working from home i this has to be land. I think it's pretty much land at this point. I'm pretty sure it's land. Oh, wait, wait. I forgot something I wanted to look at. So the tapes. The tapes right here, right? The tapes. Um, did the tapes always disappear in this manner? See how, like, they stretch? Like, they're getting ripped and they rip apart? Was it always like that? I, I, no, it wasn't, right? Pretty sure they just, like, went away. Like, they just, you know, but never ripped. Also, is that new? The little splash between the two? So, like, it splashes right here and, like, the ink kind of sp spurts. Pretty sure that was there, too. But, I don't know. Maybe I'm just seeing things for the first time because I never pay attention to aesthetics. Also, I don't know if you'll be able to look up people by, like, their tag. Because everybody has, like, their own unique tag. So, it's like a Discord tag, but, like, for Splatoon. Which will be really interesting. Because that'll mean that I can, like, go to Little Timmy's page and be like, Dog, you suck boobly squat at rank please like never play again you and your spoolish need to take yourself to turf four bro don't come in my rank lobbies essentially right a lot of toxicity right and medals don't make it any better medals are just like overwatch medals right he's like i got gold medals bro what are you doing right this is gonna be the same thing it's gonna be like bro i got over one splatter you know a popular target obviously i'm cooler than you dude and an enemy splatter, I was like getting all, you know, it's going to be one of those. It's cool. I like it. But it invites a lot of toxicity. Um, so I'm not, you know, too hype on that, you know. Um, there's a lot of new fun animations, low key. Um, metal system, less harsh punishment for performing well on the losing team in rank. Maybe. That'd be cool. I'd love to see that. Uh, yeah, it's medals now. So, oh, this is your first time watching it. Well, <laughs> yeah, we got medals. <laughs> they uh, did they really remove K uh, K D uh, K D A entirely? I think so because it doesn't show it anymore. Yeah, so like it ends here, right? And it doesn't show K D A. But uh, okay, but like here's the thing, right? It goes straight from that to this, right? It doesn't show the enemy, the losing team, right? It just shows the victor team, right? So that makes me think. Maybe they got rid of it. Maybe they didn't. Also, let's just take a moment to appreciate the animations of the Victor team here. All right, let's just let's take a look. Yeah, spin. All right, now we got the flip, flip, flop, and a flop. Also, what are you wearing, bro? Dog, what the hell? Hold on, wait a minute, bro. <laughs> what are you? Not this person. You're fine. What? What is this, bro? What? What, is, what are you doing, bro? Dog, my man's playing out. What the hell is this, bro? Uh, cool twirl, dude. All right, this is this is uh, this is where it's at, bro. Look at that flip and then a little twirl to the fucking, you know. Oh my gosh, Chun Li out here looking motherfucker. That was sick though. 
Yeah, pop off. And then you got the person who's just fucking flying mid-air with bow. Hopefully it does that in mid mid game. You could just fucking float. That'd be cool. Like slow down time, fucking Breath of the Wild style. That's sick. <laughs> I suppose in in normal it normally slides to team cards. Yeah, it just I'm pretty sure there might be some team cards. Go show how little I care about medals. I <laughs> Maybe it's just a card. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so that was Splatoon 3. Anything anyone wants to go back into the video and look at, I am more than happy to replay this boy however many times you guys want to look at it. Also, this end scene uh, is quite nice. Also, literally, September 9th, 2022, first day. That's literally the first day of Riptide. What are they going to do? Are they going to play Splatoon 3? Is it going to be Splatoon 2? Or is it going to be both Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3, right? Because, like, here's the thing. Day 1, not everyone's going to have it, right? It's going to be basic. You're going to have to go through the story mode. like Just to get to Inkopolis or whatever, you know? It's going to be crazy. Uh, so, it's like... I don't know, dude. It's going to be weird. Uh, true men Metal's mentality can be toxic. But I'm, but I'm for less rank loss for performing well. Me too. I don't care if the medals become toxic as long as they mean that you know it shows that you contributed a lot to the to the match and you don't lose as much for it i'll take it that's really great uh xenoblade splatoon traded positions nice yep yeah i probably won't be able to get the game until the end of the year holidays feels bad test fire date when probably like a month like a month or two before all right that would be my guess they usually i think it's about a month or two beforehand um because they still need time to adjust things after a test fire, I think. Um, yeah, but, like, I'm not sure what Riptide's going to do. Because, like, not everyone's going to have the game. So, I, I'm pretty sure it's going to be, like, one of those, like, Splatoon 2. Also, I'm going to play the, the trailer again. Just so that you have something to look at while I talk. Um, so, I really, I really wondering what they're going to do. I, I have to... Also, hold on. Did I just see the... I think I just saw the um, espresso machines flying over here. Yeah, yeah, there you are. I think we already saw that though. Oh, I think that's all of them. And then they split up. That'd be cool. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure exactly what they plan on doing with uh, with Riptide. I think they're gonna probably make a Splatoon 2. It was my guess. And then after Splatoon, they might have that. Well, they might have. A side events for, for Splatoon 3 where they're like yeah, yeah, yeah we can play Splatoon 3 too if you want for the side event just to kind of have fun with it and test it out right um, you know crown the first Splatoon 3 champion or whatever so that'll be cool to watch um, or do because I'll probably be there we'll see yeah like it definitely hits right like they fucking tag this motherfucker boom yeah it is a fucking Hit scan fucking point sensor. That's so bad though. But here's the thing, right? It's it's hit scan point sensor. But here's my theory. I'm not sure if I can confirm it in this video or not, but here's my theory, right? It's like a trip line. Where if any enemy passes past the the line that it produces, right? Because like it keeps the line on them, right? It produces the line on them, and then if an enemy team passes through that line, it trips them and marks them too. Maybe we'll see. I'm not entirely sure because I'm pretty sure if, even if you don't hit somebody, it still creates the wire, you know, the linkage, right? So I'm thinking it's gonna be like a trip wire. Person, it looks like the trip wire ends when the person dies. That's connected to. Maybe you can move the trip wire around if you move with it. I don't know. We'll see. Take a better look at that when we get more gameplay of it. But yeah, it is technically a hit scan point sensor. Also, this special takes a little bit to get going. I just noticed. It's on a roller too. Yeah, so it's not like immediate. You have to like plan this out before you can actually use it. I don't know how I feel about the special being on a roller, to be honest. I don't feel like it's that good on roller. Like, roller already struggles on getting in. So like... This doesn't really help it get in, <laughs> you know. <laughs> I think it needs something to help it get in, bro. <laughs> yeah, if it lingers a bit, 
If it lingers a bit, I think it'd be good as a trip prior, right? Sucky sucky. See, this person on the right was smart, right? Let's, Cause there's two people here, right? There's a slasher and there's this guy who was like over here, right? Uh, yeah, so like this guy right here, like throw something at it and then like it gets eaten, right? Did he throw a sub at it actually? Let's see if it eats subs too. Here, let me actually like slow mo this. Oh, no, not that. Oops. I'm gonna slow mo this. So they threw their sub at it. Most definitely, right? Yeah, it just gets eaten really quickly because of how far this thing reaches. But they just literally threw a sub at it and it just eats it. Um, what, you mean Rotor shouldn't have backline support tools? Hell no, bro. <laughs> what you mean? Hell no, they need to get in, bro. <laughs> Giving Zuko to Dappy's range can no longer kill me. <laughs> That's literally arrow spray Splatoon 1. Splatoon 1 arrow spray was like, let me get my Zuka so I can kill you from like across the map. You can press N. Uh, it, you can press N to move frame by frame. Oh, right, right, I can do this. Oh, wait, no. Uh, that's the wrong. Yeah, 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 okay, thank you, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, I didn't know that. Yeah, so they literally get their fucking sub in there. So they throw a sub and goodbye sub. <laughs> uh deleted. Okay. Um thank you for the knowledge matrix. Sucky sucky. But yeah, that person was smart because they're like, oh hell no. <laughs> they backed up immediately. They're, they weren't about to get like dunked on, bro. They stopped shooting at it, which again is indicative of what um, Nitrix was pointing out earlier that if you uh, if you're a smart player, you won't just mindlessly shoot into the vacuum that's gonna shoot your ink right back at you, right? Kind of smart. Kaboy! Just like how cool that is, bro. Just I don't know. I'm sorry, guys. But, like I just want to appreciate the aesthetics, right? Just like. Look how cool that this is like. I'm sorry I'm geeking out, but like this is what you know, I'm geeking out about, right? So it's just like Look at that. Boom boom boom. Look at that electricity. Oh that's so sick, dude. Look how sick that looks. Boom, right? Hits them, that's a direct hit. Kills them because they're weak, right? And then it creates like a small explosion, right? So like it paints their feet. So it paints their feet, right? And then like it creates the area right there, which makes the second explosion. And then kaboom, right? Boom, I went too fast. But yeah, look at that, that's pretty sick. Anyways, get back to the video or let it play normally. Uh, always played doubles in Splatoon 2, even though range has always been a weakness. Good surfing, fast C tech. Yeah. Oh. Another bot. Nobody clicked that link. It's a bot. So this this person also has the sub, right? Did they throw that sub yet? I don't remember. No, they don't throw it yet. And <laughs> they ran out of ink, bro. <laughs> yeah, same dog. <laughs> I'd be running out of ink with Splat Pro too. And that's a good indicator of when you're like about to run out too, which is nice. And it doesn't just like pop you, it just like literally like puts you right where you were. Yeah, like just even looking at the sub icon, right? It looks like a dart and it looks like a tripwire thing, right? That's what it looks like to me. Yeah, see, see, like it lingers from where you threw it to where it's going, right? But it doesn't stay very long. You see what I mean? But it doesn't stay very long, but at the same time, you get like four uses out of it because like 
look how much ink it actually takes. So like they're at about I'm like pointing with my finger, like you guys can see where I'm pointing with my finger. <laughs> it's like right above half, right? Like right there's right above half. And let's slow it down so you can take a look here. So they throw it, right? It goes really far actually. And their ink tank is as soon as they put their weapon back in their hands. It's like right below half. So you can easily throw like another one, right? And they're already like almost half ink. So like you can get like three or four of these off, I'm pretty sure, in quick succession. So that means to me that even though it's not very strong as a sub, it's very spammable. Which is nice. Man, that bow damage is pitiful. But that special is so sick, dude. Trying to take a look at anything else going on on the map that I'm not currently looking at. So like he throws one there, right? Then he literally throws another one there. Yeah, but they don't stay for very long. That's the thing. Improving strikes seem scary, but easy to rush down since it's slow. But then you realize you can stand behind. You can stand inside the shield and stall while they stare you down. True. Also, I was also thinking because it's a, like a lobbing sort of uh, special, you could like throw one initially, lob one up at yourself, and then throw the second one for you, right? Because like you throw the first one to get their attention, right? Or paint, whatever. You lob the second one to protect yourself. So when it comes back down, it comes down on you. So you don't get rushed down as easily if you don't have like a shield person with you. And then obviously you use the third one again for like painting purposes, right? Um... Or you could literally do the first, you could lob the first one up, right? Lob the first one up, then uh, throw the other two. You could do that too, so. Has anyone ever seen a burst bomb? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is, bro. <laughs> what was that noise? There's like a horn that plays here. You heard that? Oh, I think it's this special. I think the special has like a horn sound effect to it when it activates. And I think it's on. So it's on a brush, right? And they activate it. No, it was, it was on the bow. Yeah, yeah, I think it's the, I think it's that. Have they been deleted? Good. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't mind burst bombs being deleted. I like it, but like, not a sub that I'll miss in particular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it is the um, I think it is the mini stingrays that are making that horn sound because it did it again when the other horn sound the enemy team came off. Like right over here, you'll hear the horn sound as the special activates. Yeah, see? I wonder what the art the targeting system is like. That's it feels like it's random or like whoever's cuz like hmm. Gal still has splash wall, unfortunately. <laughs> so like the targeting system, right? Like it auto targets this person who's all the way in the fucking back instead of this person who's like closer, right? But maybe they're like looking in this direction, so like it targeted this person. But it also targets this person. Maybe like, and it's like both two, right? It, two of them target this person, two of them target this person. So maybe it targets one person at a time with two laser beams, or it focuses all the lasers on one person if there's only one in the vicinity. But it also targets this other person, Yarwell, over there too. So like, I guess it multi-targets, right? So it's kind of like missiles where it like targets multiple multiple people. And maybe we're not seeing it, but maybe like there's an indicator of who you want to target, right? Like um uh, with like you know how in spectator cam when someone missiles, you don't see their actual targets. I'm thinking it's the same thing here like when you activate these, you can like choose your targets and then spam the the special button again or or another button to uh select your targets, you know? Oh, that's the killer 
whale sound, but like tweak for this one. Yeah, that's true. It is the good one. But I think it has like a targeting system. I don't think it'll be random. How's it go right there? But yeah, that's very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Nice. So looking forward to that when um, when it decides to come out, which will be in September 9th. Uh, I like it. I think it's a little too open, to be honest. Um, like I think it's a little too open, to be honest with you. Um, like, it feels like the reef slash urchin underpass, where it's like one of those like, you know, fighty close quarters sort of maps, but like. It's really open, which gives me like Hammerhead's Bridge vibes, um, which let me tell you, I didn't like Hammerhead's Bridge, but at least there's not as much verticality on this map than there was on the other one. So like, I'm liking the fact that there's not a lot of vertical, vertical like surfaces on this one. Like it doesn't like accentuate it. I don't think that's the right word, but um, like there's more vertical areas the closer you are to your base which makes sense right you want that height advantage coming out but not so much in mid right there's like obviously areas and there's like some amount of cover this the cover here might change too remember like the splatoon 2 trailer had the reef and the reef had like almost no cover to it it was like really open but then when the game released and they updated the map over time like it got a lot more cover so It'll probably be the same thing here, I think. Yeah, it reminds me of Hammerhead's Bridge. <laughs> I will give it some credit and say that it, trend, it trends away from two, uh, from two's general map design. Yes, yes it does. It feels more Splatoon One ish. Um, well, actually, it kind of feels like a mixture of both, but like it, it doesn't have like the two main things from both that I would associate with it, right? Like, it definitely looks like an improvement from both games, in my opinion, which is good. Yeah, I wonder if you can just, how long it takes for those to come straight up. Or maybe you could just straight up pop one at your feet. Instead of lobbying it up, you could just straight up pop one at your feet and do that. That seems useful. Hammerhead had too many areas where you couldn't swim on the upper levels, though. At least this one, you could actually swim from one end to the other. That's true. It wasn't just like a walk here, die zone, you know? Which reminds me, Rainmaker was atrocious on that map. Hammerhead was so bad for like most modes, but I feel like it was the worst at Rainmaker. <laughs> it was so bad. <laughs> but man, I can't wait to get my hands on this game, dude. It's like such a fun game. So cool, so cool. And that poor roller on the left. Out of ink, bro. <laughs> oh, curling bombs are back too, I guess. That's another thing to indicate. But yeah. Rainmaker Hammond was so brutal. <laughs> oh, there you go, unlocked those memories. <laughs> my bad, my bad. Whee, look at him spin. Look at him spin. To be fair, Rainmaker accidentally ruins a lot of maps. The rules set in one especially worked against just about every map. It was stupid, but easy solo carry with run speed. It was. <laughs> oh, man, it sure was. Man. I, I remember... The reason I remember Rainmaker Hammerhead Bridge so vividly was because that was the match that won us a set against Olive at one point. Like, I remember my, me and my team, we were doing, re like, we were at that point where we were doing really well for ourselves. Like, we were doing really, really good. And we were fighting Olive um, back in the day in Splatoon 1. And then we, we were going even with them, but they were, like, winning really hard on Rainmaker Hammerhitch, which was, like, the last match. 
and I, I don't remember who it was. One of us on our, on our team is like got two kills, and then we distracted the last two people while our Rainmaker carrier like literally, I think it was Marsh actually, I don't remember. It might have been Marsh. He was like literally like running the Rainmaker all, all the way through the grace where it runs speed, and we won the set because of it. It was so funny, dude. Yeah, I'm trying to take a look at what else is like interesting to look at. Hmm. I'm trying to see if I spot anything else in this trailer. Oh, got him. Oh, yeah, hold on, hold on. I just notice that um the indicators for switching of people is the same it looks like this yeah like a x y yeah it's the same thing well that's amazing we have the other team but that's a solid one for you guys and we take this we definitely did dude we bragged about that one for months bro <laughs> it was on our top of our list of things we accomplished it was like bro we actually beat team of in a set and that was like actually insane for us like we were a pop like we were popping off we, we played out of our minds that match i remember it was insane it was a good match too we never beat them again but it was it was just the one time thing we definitely did play them again but like we definitely lost <laughs> they adjusted uh really well to us on uh, the matches afterwards Yeah, I think bow's gonna be really fun, man. Looks like it's gonna be really fun. Yeah, you should be able to pop one of those at your feet, right? Yeah, I definitely think you pop one of those at your feet. Just to cover yourself if you need to. Like, obviously, if you feel like you're safe enough and you don't need to, then, you know, cool. Got him. Mm, I don't really see anything too significant to point out. But I like how you glow as Spider Man. He's zipping around everywhere. We the little flip. The dodge roll seems really useful too if it gives you eye frames. And look at that poor roller on the left. Out of ink. <laughs> And then they get dunked on right there. But yeah, I think that's going to conclude my little uh, little stream here of uh, Splatoon 3 content. That was really cool. Appreciate everybody coming out to watch a little bit. Uh, I think we're going to head over to Switch and see anybody else is streaming. See if we have any uh, Splatoon people. FLC, Turf War confirmed, of course. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to send you guys over to FLC here. Um, we're going to see what they have to say. But yeah, I appreciate everyone coming out. Uh, I have stuff to do, but it was uh, really fun seeing everybody. Appreciate it, appreciate it. Hope you guys enjoyed my little analysis. Uh, on a stage with high ele elevation, Ink Strike seems a lot safer to use. Yeah, it does. Seems really, really safe to use. So definitely looking forward to that. Uh, yeah, I'm going to send you guys over to FLC. Thank you for watching and uh, have a great day. Bye, everybody.